Let's have you come in. Can we go back and just time their entrance? I think you've got to come in from off stage because it is distracting to have you there. Heaven is a show that takes place in the, during the Bosnian War. That was great. That was it is great. a show about an American reporter and his journey through um, war-torn Bosnia. Oh, if you turn it around like this, then it opens that this way, and then when Natalie turns it back, it'll tr it'll it'll open into the house. This is the eleventh hour, and we are working really hard to be ready for tonight because we have an audience tonight. <laughs> I'm Joe Kuala and I'm the artistic director of the Flying Foot Forum. I uh, grew up in Madison, Wisconsin. I um, lived in New York for seven years and then I lived in Gothenburg, Sweden for a number of years. When I moved to uh, Sweden, I uh, started teaching, teaching uh, dance and theater at a performing arts academy in Gothenburg, Sweden. I do a lot of work directing and choreographing for uh, various companies. I've been a performer, I've sung with choirs, I've uh, danced with companies. I've pretty much uh, performed every role that you can in a, in a company. I'm the artistic director of the Flying Foot Forum, which is a percussive dance theater company. Percussive dance, in the case of the Flying Foot Farm, has a really wide definition. I think most people think of it as tap dance, clogging, step dance, uh, hand bone, um, various folk forms of folk dance that use percussive dance. And Anything is really fair game for uh, instrumentation for the Flying Foot Forum, and we love to do things where we are actually playing instruments while we're dancing and possibly singing and possibly reciting verse. We've worked with, you know, pots and pans and brushes. But as often as we can, we try to incorporate the mus musicians and the instruments into the work. I want to see Carla Grotting, my long, long-time collaborator and artistic associate, Flying Foot Forum. So here we are, 20 years later. Really, most uh, folk dance traditions, if you dig deep enough, have some sort of percussive dance. But it's basically dance that um, makes percussive music while you are dancing. And so it's a com combined form of music and dance. So I like the idea of working with verse and with nonsense verse because then it becomes a form of percussion. I Saw Esau is a piece that came out of a whole evening called The Percussion Project. I had this book of nonsense poems. Uh, and I tried to pick the creepiest ones I could find because a lot of them are pretty creepy. And so I got I Saw Esau kissing Kate. The fact is we all three saw because I saw him and he saw me and she saw I Saw Esau. Hard to do it out of context, but that's the least creepy of the ones that we use. So then we decided we wanted to have a sort of a dark uh, look for it as well. So we got the frock coats and the white scarves and put all the music in a minor key and used the verses to sort of inform that too. When 
I started the company, I always thought about the, there were a lot of percussive dance companies that were starting up like Stomp and uh, River Dance. But there were a lot of people that were doing this all at the same time without knowing it. And I think it was because there was this sort of feeling back then, and I think there still is, that we need to connect more with the earth and, and, and make some kind of really strong uh, connection. And I think that rhythm gives us that strong connection as we get more and more detached from the natural world and our, our own human nature. I think um, we feel a need to connect more with that. And I think pulse and rhythm really helps with that. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the Citizens of Minnesota. <laughs>